So I've heard a lot of uh, bad things about Alfa Romeo of, or Fiat of Manhattan. I am in the market for lots of toys, motorcycles, cars, and Alfa Romeo is one of the brands that have caught my attention. So I figured I would come down here and talk to them about perhaps scooping up one of these beautiful cars. I did this in spite of the fact that my research told me that a lot of people have been complaining about this particular dealership here in Manhattan. But I figured, let me give them a shot, right? So, first thing that happens is when you Google Alfa Romeo of Manhattan, or if you say Google, call Alfa Romeo of Manhattan, <laughs> or something like that, um, there's a, a dealership called Fullerton in New Jersey. They're running an ad right now, so if you're not paying attention when you Google Manhattan Fiat, their ad shows up in the listings, even though you typed in Manhattan, right? So if you just, oh, there it is, and you call the number, you'll get the New Jersey, and you'll be confused, like I was, like, hey, what's going on? Um, yeah, so there was that. That's not Manhattan's fault. That's Fulton pushing their ads. Anyway, um, so I, and that, that experience was actually not that good either because those guys, some lady answered and she couldn't hear me. I took off my earpiece. I was on a speakerphone. Everybody could hear me, but she, you know, her, rather. Hello, 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 hello. And she hangs up. Um, yeah. I call back. I go through the very, very slow and just... I just didn't like the menu at all, the menu system. I'm just trying to, I'm running out of time, left the office late. I just want to get someone on the phone. And I must have pressed the wrong button or waited too long to answer, and it hangs up on me. I absolutely hate that. I, that's one of my pet peeves. Do not let your computer hang up on me, right? If the person is having trouble, they're not giving the right answers, you need to automatically direct them to the operator. It should never be an option, well, I mean, if they're, if they're not doing anything for like 10 minutes, <laughs> that's different. But it should never be an option to just hang up on someone within less than like five minutes of inactivity or something like that, right? Because someone's, imagine someone spent some time going through the menu where people are busy trying to buy your product. They go through the menu, they make some mistake, and then you just hang up, bye-bye. That's the worst thing to do. Maybe I don't call you guys back, right? So any companies that are doing that, I'm telling you right now, remove from your menu. You're losing business, right? Catch somebody in a wrong day, bad mood, dealing with that kind of nonsense, just hang up and call somebody else, right? Anyway, so I, I, I come to this dealership, which Google says closes at nine. Um, I get out of the car, I am, all I see is Mercedes-Benz, Volvo, I think Jaguar. So I'm like, okay, lots of car dealerships here, but where the hell is Fiat? Right? Um, maybe if I was in such a rush, I might have recognized the addresses on 12th, 12th Avenue. I don't know if it is or it isn't, but anyway, I just couldn't find it. I look up the block, I see car dealerships. I look down the block, I see darkness. Anyway, apparently they were down the block in the darkness. So you go down towards 12th Avenue, there's really nothing between the other end of the block where those dealerships and then Fiat, like there's a, a, a dead spot of like not really much going on, kind of dark. Um, so I walk down, here's a dealership, and I pull in the door, door doesn't open. I notice a lot of dealerships are actually closed as well. Mercedes-Benz was closed, but these guys are supposed to close at nine, right? As you can see here, sales, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then there's this printed out note, which didn't make it to the website. I could see if it was just Google, Google having old information, but I actually went to the actual website to look at their hours of operation, and it clearly states 9 p.m. So, <laughs> a lot of bad ratings for this dealership. 
I give him a chance. And I think right away we've proven that there's a reason why people are complaining. So you... <laughs> to me, this is no respect for people's time. People are busy. And the people who can afford the cars that you have, even more so. Right? So you're going to have on your website saying you close at 9. And have someone come down here and waste their time, who knows how far they came from, thinking you guys are open, and you're not. Right. Anyway, I will uh, continue to do some research about this dealership, and also look for perhaps better dealerships that don't have such awful ratings as Fiat of Manhattan. Anyway. Until the next episode, this is Carlisle Spicks.